Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this, know that I appreciate you. I have to check real quick to make sure I have my ring. Um, tis I, Jay, and I'd like to welcome you to another day in the daily life of Jay. What in the world is going on with this gate now? So both of the gates are busted. Cool. Very good. Um, it is Thursday, January 4th. Yeah. And it is 8.31 in the a.m. And I am headed to work. And I'm running just a tad, I'll take a tad bit late. Um, because I took my time today. The husband wanted breakfast, so I made him some breakfast. Um, and then I still made sure that I ate. But then I also had to get some footage off the phone so that I could have space to record anew. Um, but I'm headed to work. I may have to get on the freeway just to save myself some time. Would you be on that freeway? I don't want to. But the sacrifices that I must make. Do you see that I have no hat on? I don't have a hat on today. Um, because it's supposed to get up to like 66 today. It might be warm. Uh, I think it got up to like 67, 60 somewhere between 67 and 69 yesterday. Um, so I was a little bit warm um, when I was commuting. Um, let's see if we can all make it through. Let's see if we can all make it through. Let's see if we can all make it through. Whoop -de -whoop. I made Um. So yeah, today is supposed to be another pleasant day. So I opted not to put a hat on, um, especially since oh, come on, look, oh, looking good. Especially since I don't have a hat to match this coat. Um, I don't have a hat to match this coat, so I didn't put one on today. scarf just in case and I have had this scarf since probably uh, oh no okay it's moving it's moving I'm sorry y'all I just saw cars backed up vehicles backed up Revived situation. Um, so my grandmother had this scarf first. She she had two. Uh, one she actually had both. She kept both of them, but I took one. <laughs> I took one uh, because I needed it for something. I forget what I needed it for or what I was wearing, and it went with um, at the time. But this scarf is at least, if not the eighties, the nineties early 90s. You hear what I'm saying? Um, and I've always held on to it. And I probably have the other one mixed in with some of the stuff that I have that belonged to my, my grandmother. Some of her clothing. Because I did keep some of this stuff. I kept all of her furs. Um, they're in a um, trunk. And I kept some of her other pieces uh, that I could use to make a quilt with. Like I was keeping some of my grandfather's things that I could make a quilt out of his things. But I never ended up making the quilt so I actually kind of downsized and only kept her 
I'm just going to call it the eating out fund. Um, I'm just going to call it the eating out fund. And then once the husband and I actually really start our vlog and vlog, um, I'll be able to actually expense those things. So that's good. Um, or I'll just do it on my own. But he wants he wants to do something. So when he makes up his mind, that'll be a part of what we do is the eating out. Even though sometimes uh, nowadays that's really very difficult to do because so many places are um, requesting that you don't record while you're in their establishment. So even if it's just us taking pictures of whatever it is that we're eating shopping for um, then that's what we'll have to do yeah but with so many people vlogging and vlogging nowadays um, more and more establishments are saying uh, no recording in our establishment because in many cases it is putting them in a bad light if something negative happens because you know we'll whip out and record bad customer service and Minute. We'll rip out, whip out and record um, a fight in an establishment in a minute. We will whip out and record the owner of an establishment telling us, uh, telling women not to be twerking in his place of business, even though he put on twerk music. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Um, so a lot of places are now asking not to record in their establishments because in many cases, it does put them in a bad light. So, uh, again, even if we just take pictures of what we're ordering, what we're shopping for, or whatever the case, you know, that's what we do. But um, the, the whole point of me saying all of that is, as I said just a little bit before, uh, is that once we start that, I'll be able to expense um, those, those things. Now, something that I'm going to have to get an attorney for is um, my umbrella corporation, because that's what it's going to have to be, is an umbrella corporation, um, because I want it to cover not just I've got multiple, I have ideas and business names to generate, create, produce multiple streams of income. Each thing will produce its own stream of income. Um, and I've got to have, I want to have an umbrella corporation so that everything falls under that one name. And I just have to figure out what that one name is because I don't want it necessarily to fall under my coaching and speaking name. I don't necessarily want it to fall under my mentoring and nonprofit name. And I also don't want it to fall under my storefront, my online storefront name. Um, but whatever the... Whatever that umbrella corporation is going to be named it's going to cover all of those things so yeah I'm excited about thinking about that I mean and I've thought of a couple of names um, because not only am I thinking about my speaking my coaching my mentoring my nonprofit my uh, online storefront but I'm also thinking about <coughs> the real estate business that I want to get into um, because I still want to do that uh, so yeah I'm thinking about all of those things and so that I am going to have to have legal uh, advice on all of that because it just makes sense to do it that way versus just willy-nilly doing it so that is kind of what that miscellaneous 
um, fund was for was to save up for those kinds of things like the legalities of everything um, so yeah yeah um, one of the ideas that God gave me yesterday um, I've got to get to work on and I it's I don't know if it's gonna start this month or if it's gonna start at the beginning of next month um, but I'm excited about it uh, I, I will not say what it is here um, until it's ready to go um, but I am excited about that thing happening I am getting more focused on some of the things that I need to do and I think that that is what the time that God is giving me while I'm here on this at this job this assignment that I have here I think that's what one of the things that he's doing is giving me the time to um, get some of these things together and pay attention to how this person runs their business so that I learn from them um, what to and not to do um, as an entrepreneur so uh, we'll see we shall see uh, we had a third person quit and I, I'm, I've been keeping you guys abreast so that's the only reason why I mentioned this so we had a third person hired and then a third person quit and what we have noticed um, the ladies and I what we have noticed is that when it comes time for them to start making calls that's when they realize that it's not going to work for them um, except for the second guy. The second guy, I'm not 100% sure what his deal was because he had just only, he had gotten into his two days of training, his second day of training. They have two solid days of training where that's all they do all day long is train. But then by the third day, we're looking for their leads list and we're looking for them to make calls. Um, so yeah we've noticed that by the third day they figure out that this is even though they were told ahead of time they figure out that we are serious about um, what we ask for uh, the requirements the qualifications the well the, the qualifications are one thing but absolutely the requirements that we put that he puts forth um, and then I reinforce they see that we're serious about that so it's like oh wow I really got to do this yeah you really got to do it so and it was so weird the way he did it I won't tell you how he did it I can't tell you just yet um, I may not ever tell you but it was just weird the way it was done um, so we're supposed to have three more start next week we're gonna have them all start on the same day I'll be getting them uh, up to speed all on the same day we've already got our systems um, in place so um, we're, sh we're shifting how the ladies operate because um, we've made some decisions about them as well and what they're going to be doing with their roles are going to be from this point forward um, so yeah it's coming together it's prepping us, and as I said to my employer yesterday, it's really just kind of preparing him at this point uh, for his soon come. Um, yeah, so um, I'm excited to see how this all plays out because again, I'm learning quite a bit, uh, quite a bit about um, what to and not to do as an entrepreneur. Um, how to be flexible when needed, but how to stand fast uh, when needed, you know. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get myself in here. It's a little bit ahead of time, so I'm going to run over here to Ross to see if they got more journals. I know I'm a journal junkie. I am a journal junkie, um, but I want to see if they've got anything that I could actually um, use for some other stuff that I'm thinking about. Um, even though 
I got journals after journals after journals at home. But I'm actually really liking the bullet journals. Um, I'm really liking the bullet journals. Like I love the line journals for just writing, but I'm loving the bullet journals for mapping out things. Um, so we shall see. We shall see. I'm going to go over here and see if they've got anything. And if not, then I'm just going to come into the office. I'm not going to spend much time uh, in here. I've got 10 minutes before I've got to get in here. So I'm going to spend five minutes in there. Hopefully no more and uh, then get on into the office. So with that, I'm excited about the stuff that's coming. I know I haven't posted in a while, but by the time you see this, I will have posted some things um, for you to see um, or to have uh, been entertained by, I hope. Um, but yeah, it's been a little while since I've posted anything because I've just been resting for one to not stressing over things uh and adding extra pressure on myself but then three just um receiving the downloads from the lord that he's giving me about the things that he wants me to do so i'm excited about the stuff that he's rolling my way um he's preparing me for my soon come and i'm excited about it so with that peace and blessings remember to walk in your purpose and know that i appreciate you